Hello everyone, welcome back to all my subscribers. I know I've already done a December book list, but in this video I'm going to talk about all things related to snow and the polar regions. So the first book is called What Can I See in the Polar Regions? And I like this book because the illustrations are very nice and the wording is short. It gives you a lot of good information about uh, the Arctic and Antarctic regions. The next book, if you're doing something with penguins this month, this book's called Plenty of Penguins. It's a level one reader. Excellent book with um, very realistic illustrations, very big words and uh, font and easy to read um, for level one. Um, but my daughter likes this. She's in kindergarten. The next book is super cute. It's another penguin book called Penguin and Pinecone and it's a story of friendship and it tells you what happens when this little penguin gets the pinecone and at the end it shares a message of love. It wouldn't be a book list without Jan Brett. This is The Three Snow Bears. And if you haven't seen this, this story is basically the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, but it is set with an Inuit girl and a polar bear family. And it tells you in the book a little bit about how Inuit people live. Very nice story if you're doing something about Inuit people. And speaking of which, this book is called Alaskan Inuits, History, Culture, and Lifestyle for Kids. And it is a very good book that talks a lot about Inuit culture. Um, it is a little bit wordy, but it has really good information. The next book is Old Bear. And this is a book about hibernation and how bears hibernate and this bear goes through winter and then wakes up in the spring. Super cute book. My daughter likes it. Another book about hibernation is Over and Under the Snow. It's about a little girl and her dad who go skiing in the forest and they run into different animals and they see what animals do in the winter time. My daughter was a little bit bored with this one, but it is a very good book and I know that a lot of people enjoy it. The next one is called Grandmother Winter, and it's a book about this old woman, and she makes this quilt, and then when she shakes the quilt, it starts to snow. Uh, very, really reminds me of like a Native American type of story, although I don't believe that it is, um, but it's a really great story. The next book is by Yuval Sommer, and if you saw my December video, um, I had two books by Yuval Sommer, and this is another one that I really like, A Thing Called Snow, and it's about this fox and this rabbit who have never seen snow, and they go on a search to find out what snow is. And then the last one is called The Snow Dancer, and it's about this little girl who's a dancer, and she loves the snow, and when it starts snowing, she goes outside, and she starts to dance outside, and she teaches other kids how to dance, and it has very simple wording, and I love the illustrations. Okay, hope you guys like this list. Thank you. See you in the next video.